Hi, I'm Steve Ballantyne from Brand IQ. We're a branding consultancy based in Auckland, New Zealand, but we work with clients in New Zealand, Australia, and in the US. What has been my biggest business learning? I mean, that's a really hard one to answer because I kind of feel like I've been at school for the last 30 years learning new things every week. But if I suppose, I, if I was to think about it more deeply, it would be that at the end of the day, you're only as good as the people that you surround yourself with in business. So my biggest learning is probably invest in having really talented people surrounding you, people that are really as passionate about the business as you are, um, that can really support your vision and really make you look good. What's been my biggest obstacle? Well, having been raised in a small provincial town and then moving to Auckland, I actually think one of the biggest challenges I've had in my business career has been that whole kind of adage of you can take the boy out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the boy. So it's really been uh, getting past perhaps that kind of small-minded provincial mindset and thinking in a bigger way um, about how we can do business, not only in New Zealand, but all around the world. I think one of the biggest screw-ups that I've had in business was really failing to capitalise on being one of the first uh, marketing agencies in the country to have a website. And then we completely failed to get on the whole web design and web development uh, bandwagon. And it really came home to me actually one day when a girl that had been working for me as a PA back in the early days of my agency, left and set up a web design company and did really well and had about 15 or 20 staff working, was pumping out a whole lot of websites. And I realised that day that I completely missed the boat, even though you know we were one of the first innovators in the space. I think my most significant accomplishment to date is the fact that I grew up in a, a small provincial town and have managed to come to Auckland and with a range of partners have co-founded businesses that have generated over 200 million in revenue over the last 20 years. So I'm really proud of that. And I think a secondary one there is a number of years ago, my business partner and I, Greg Taylor, uh, when I had an agency called Ballantyne Taylor, against all odds, we won the Canon business account in Australia. Um, it was a really uh, difficult account to win and we won it against three uh, big Australian agencies. It's probably one of the proudest days of my life when we got that phone call. What's my best piece of advice to business owners? Well, this is going to sound a bit cheesy, um, but you know, I think you only go as far as your, um, as your sense of self-belief. So. I remember a number of years ago when we moved into an office in a tower block um, in Auckland and the owner of the building, who's Scottish, really liked my surname, Ballantyne, so offered us free naming rights on the building. And so we had this whole top floor in the building um, and we got, uh, the building was named Ballantyne House and it was a proud moment but I felt a bit like a counterfeit. I didn't really think that I deserved um, you know, to have my name on a building. But a weird thing happened. Um, through that process of having a name on the building, my sense of self-belief in who we were, what we could achieve, um, and what we could do growed significant, grew significantly. And it's a little bit like buying a pair of shoes that are too big for you and growing into them. So that was a really good lesson for me about self-belief, is that our, self, um, our beliefs often are very limiting if, you know, if they're small. So I think really uh, my key piece of advice would be to really think as big as possible and don't limit yourself or limit your potential. Why, why do we work with Gilligan Shepherd? Well, I think it's fair to say that we started our relationship with Bruce in the early days and um, Bruce ha has helped me and my business partners get out of a few career threatening scrapes. So I have found working with Bruce particularly, he is a real advocate and a warrior um, and a great support at times when we need, um, we've needed him in my career. But I think beyond that, I really like the team at Gilligan Shepherd. It, they kind of fit into the three bears principle for me. They're not too big, they're not too small, they're just right. It's a good size for us. 
I think they're, they're, they're charging is fair. They're not exorbitant or expensive, um, you know, like the big accountancy firms. And they do just have a little bit more of a down-to-earth, no bullshit, practical kind of family feel to them. And we've really enjoyed not only working with Bruce, but um, with Tania as well and the rest of the team over the years um, in a number of our businesses. So it's just been a really, felt like a really comfortable fit for me. Uh, just one final thing I'd really like to add is really thank uh, Bruce and the team for being an incredible support for me throughout my business career. In fact, it's, it, it's fair to say that I probably wouldn't be in business today if it wasn't for Bruce's, Bruce and the team's help at some very critical moments in my career where everything could have turned to custard. So I really appreciate that and would just like to thank them again, um, you know, for being there when, when I really needed them.